July 1st, a 33-year-old mother who was murdered while working in the early morning hours at a bakery off North Beltline to support her family. Uh, July 8th, a four-year-old girl was sent to the hospital. She was hit by a straight bullet in a gang shootout in Colony Apartments while watching television in her home. July 20th, 24-year-old DeAndre Pelzer is gunned down while standing with a group of friends outside a house on McDuffie Street on October 13th. 18-year-old USC freshman, one of the children destroyed by a straight bullet while waiting for a taxi. And five points. Every single one of these crimes has several things in common. They're all violent. They're all tragic. They're all likely gang-related. And they were all preventable. In every single instance, the person who pulled the trigger never should have been on the street in the first place. We're talking about multiple felons, violent career criminals, who should have been behind bars. But instead, they're out of bond or on probation, even though through their actions, they prove themselves unworthy of a second chance, much less a third, a fourth, or even a fifth chance. Over the past year alone, we've taken dramatic steps to fight gang violence and crime in our city. We've, we've installed hundreds of security cameras. We've put a plan in place to install 800 more. we put more cops on the beat, giving them more resources to do their jobs. We've partnered with communities faith-based organizations to steer our young men and women away from the choices that lead them to a life of guns and violence. And we've expanded our gang task force and partnered with local, county, state, and federal authorities to fight back against the dangerous criminals that threaten our community. Our police officers, our sheriff's deputies, are out there every single day risking their lives to put these violent career criminals behind bars where they belong just to see them released time and again. Sometimes even the same day they were arrested. Enough is enough. We're here today because we all believe that the system is broken and the only way to fix it is by working together. This isn't a five points problem, it's a community problem, it's a citywide problem, it's a state problem. It's time for a solution. We don't need another tragedy. We need to come together to stop this revolving door now repeat violent offenders who have the opportunity to make bail and bond time and time again threaten the safety and security of our communities and we need to shut the door now. In order to do that, we need prompt action from our state legislature. These men behind me have helped lead that charge in prior years. We're calling on the legislature when it convenes in January to immediately take up bond reform and help us shut the revolving door of repeat violent offenders. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and, and Councilman Runyon and Representative Quinn and, and Mr. Smith. Mr. C. Wright, um, you know, having grown up in the city of Columbia, uh, or in, in Columbia, 50 years old, I've never been more concerned than I am today um, about the safety of our community. And this is not a time for pointing fingers, this is a time for action. And I applaud the mayor for his leadership. And I think it's going to take federal, state, local law enforcement, along with elected officials, city council, county council, and the state legislature, to come together to do whatever we have to do to make sure that violent repeat offenders don't see their way back on the streets again. It may involve looking more carefully at the decisions that our judges are making. It may involve looking more carefully at the decisions that our parole board is making. It also is going to require tougher legislation that allows judges not to even give bond to a, a repeat offender. Legislation that will be taken up in the House probably in early January, which has passed the Senate. But the time has come for action. Nobody wants to point fingers. What we want to do is find solutions, and I think in a bipartisan way with different levels of government and law enforcement, we are going to work tirelessly to reassure our citizens that Columbia and our greater Columbia community is safe. And I look forward to being part of that action. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate you having me uh, here today, today, Mayor. We are ready to roll up our sleeves and get to work. I also want to let everybody know Kenny Bingham was going to be here, who is my colleague from, also from Lexington County. Uh, but there's a, there's a joint review committee meeting going on right now.
what I would like to say about this is I think it's a complex problem. Clearly there are some things that we need to do to help the judges do a better job. Uh, when you have multi-jurisdictional arrests, they may not, the judges may not always have all the information necessary to make decisions. And occasionally, uh, that's, that's what's the problem. But frankly, also, we're going we're gonna, to, I agree with everything uh, Senator Lurie said, we're going to have to, you know, obviously look at making it more difficult for people to get bond that, uh, that, that have multiple bond defenses. Uh, and probation would, be, would, be, would also be a problem. But unfortunately, that power exists with the judges today. They can, by virtue of if a, if a person is a risk to the community, deny them probation and bond. And there are too many judges that are not doing that when it's appropriate. And as for me, and I think I speak for Kenny Bingham as well, we are going to start looking at some of these judges and the decisions they've made and hold them accountable to those decisions. But on the other hand, we're going to have to make the law stronger to maybe lead them to the right conclusion uh, when necessary. And I think I think Mayor Benjamin hit it right on the head. This is not just a city of Columbia problem. It's a growing problem around the state. It needs to be addressed, and, and I think we're, we have a, a team here that's going to do everything we can in January when we get back into session. Mayor Benjamin, Councilman Runyon, thank you for your leadership today and bringing us together on this important matter. I'm here a part of this bipartisan effort, Republicans and Democrats in the House and the Senate, to announce a meaningful effort in judicial reform and bond reform, the kind of stuff that you've heard earlier. Uh, it's coming to light. The system is broken. We have a situation in which judges are setting bond on defenders that they're not even aware that they're out of we need to make sure that judges have the information in their hand at the time, prior arrest records. We need to make sure that the public here in the city of Columbia and all across South Carolina is safe from violent career offenders. And that's going to be the focus of our effort. We will have something to introduce uh, uh, during pre-filing time before the legislature returns in uh, January. 